Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. I am here to present to you one of the biggest features of Angular Material, which is drag and drop. In the example that we will build today is this, well, the football clubs list. And when I hover over one of those uh, items, well, clubs, I'm able also to drag and drop uh, clubs as I wish, kinda to sort those. Here in this example, we will use drag and drop directly from Angular Material. We will use it in this kind of a simple example and you will see this simple implementation of drag and drop so you can reuse it on the project that you wish. Before we start this tutorial, don't forget also to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I post new content weekly, so you can always expect more tutorials from me. Now let's get into this video. First thing that I will do here is create the component that I will use for my drag and drop. So to do that I will use the command in my terminal of ng G for generate, C for component, and I will generate my component in components slash cdk slash drag and drop. Now let's move into the Visual Studio code and use this component. To use the component that I just generated, I will have to open up this app folder and inside open up my app.component.html file. In this file, first of all, I will hide this collections component from the last video. If you wish to watch that video, you will have a link down in the description of this one. But after this component, I will set my comment to be cdk drag and drop. Then I can use my component, which is app drag and drop. And also I will put ending comment here as well, which is end of cdk drag and drop. As drag and drop is one of the biggest features of uh, well Angular material, and the whole feature has its own module, we will have to import the correct module so we could use this drag and drop. So to do that, I will open up this app.module.ts file and inside I will import my drag drop module and I must import that from at angular slash material slash drag dash drop. I also made a mistake, it's not at angular slash material, but at angular slash cdk slash drag drop. Now also be sure to pass this drag drop module down in imports array so the app would know about it. Now that we have this module imported, we can finally work on some example. So for that, I will open up my drag and drop component that I just created. I will open up the well TypeScript file of it. Inside of this file, I could create some data that I wish to use for my drag and drop. And for that I will create football clubs. Here I could set this to be an array. And I will just set here to be the array of strings. But you can also work with more complex objects as well. So for the list of strings here, I will use Arsenal. Then Chelsea. Then Liverpool then Manchester United and Manchester City. Now that we have this data, we could obviously use this data in our template and also we'll move those around. Just one quick fun fact before we continue, I'm also a big fan of Arsenal and well, I'm not really happy about their performance in the last few years. Enough about that, let's move into our template, which is this drag and drop that component that HTML file. Inside of my template, I wish to render all of my football clubs. So here I will first of all create the div and I can also set some custom styling for this div, like width can be 500 pixel. And also I could set margin to be, let's say 50 pixels top and bottom, out of or left and right, just to center our list of football clubs uh, in our, on our screen. But inside of my div here, I will render my football clubs. And, well, I could render my football clubs as many different uh, components that I wish. I could use cards here, I could use, I could render those in a table, well, as I wish. I will here use material list that we already worked previously with. So for that, I need to use mat list element here. And each mat list element should have mat list item inside which is, well, this mat list is usually just an ordered list from normal HTML, and this mat list item is usually just normal list item from HTML also that we can use, but those are specifically styled to material styling. 
Now that I have my list inside of my list here, I will use directive of ng4 and I will use let club of football clubs. So for each of my clubs, I will render one list item. Inside of this list item, I will just render the club name, which is this club, and this should present the list of, uh, of on our screen. But as we wish to use that drag and drop feature here, we must also customize this list a bit differently. First of all, we must specify the element that is apparent for our list. So the feature itself, this drag and drop, knows in which list it should drop new elements. So for that, this is my parent, this math list. And on this math list, I can use CDK drop list attribute here. Next to this drop list, we should also specify each drop item that we could use, for example, our clubs. So for each our list item, just after this ng4 directive, we can use CDK drop as well here. Well, my mistake, it's not drop, but it's a drag because we are able to drag our items as we wish and drop those inside of our list as we wish. So now that we have our draggable items and also the list that is used for this drag and drop, well, we must also specify the event when we basically drag and drop one of our items so we could run our own custom function. So for that, there is this specific event here, which is called CDK drop list dropped. So this event can, well, will occur whenever we drop a new item. So whenever we move one of our elements inside and we could call our own function here, I will lay my function just drop because we are actually dropping the item inside. And here we could, well, expect some kind of custom event, which will be the item that is being dropped in. So for that, let's create also this drop function. Uh, I will move to my TypeScript file again. And here after my ng on init, I will create that function, which is called drop. I know that I'm expecting some kind of event here. Well, actually this is not the event, but it is the item that is being dropped. So it is CDK. It will be the type of CDK drag drop. Well, just drag drop item that we can use. And this drag drop must be imported here at the top from at angular slash CDK slash drag drop. Also, this here is a generic type, so we could also specify our own type of the item and it will be the string, but the array of strings because we should be also able to move, well, if we wish, multiple items. That is also an option for us, but we won't do that here. Now that I have this function inside of my function, I can do something. For example, I can call for my list itself and allow the items that, that should be dropped inside. So for example, if I grab this Liverpool and I move it to the first place, the list itself should know that the Liverpool now should be at the index of zero, while Arsenal should move to the index of two and the Chelsea should move to the index of three. Well, of one and two, sorry, my mistake. But here in my job method, I have a specific function and this function is not my custom function. It is the function that is being provided to us from Materia. The function itself is called move item in array. And this function must also be imported here at the top from at angular slash CDK slash drag and drop. Now, when we call this function, this will expect three different attributes. Well, arguments inside. First itself will be the array of all of our items. For us, this is a football club. So this, that football clubs. It must know about this array. So it should know with which array this uh, method is working currently with because we are also able to have multiple well drag and drop lists or tables on our page now that we have this list specified this football club we should also specify what was the previous place of our item and what should be the next well the current place of our item so again if i move the liverpool to the first place the previous place was 0, 1, 2, and the current place should be 0 if I move it to the first place. So how could I get that Liverpool, for example? Well, this event here that we are getting, that we are sending into our drop function, is actually the item itself. So we are able to pass this event, and on this event, next to the data, the item itself, we will have also the option to use 
previous index, which is for us, well, for example, for the Liverpool, 0, 1, 2. Yeah. And if we move it to the first place, we can also use event that current index. So now we are passing the whole list of items and also the previous and the current or the next index for that item. So now this move item in array knows fully how to work with our items as well. And to finalize all of this, I will just move into CSS and paste some code here. So I could have some customization here as well. And we could see that list of our football clubs a bit better and cleaner. Let's go into our browser now to test this. Now in my browser, I do have whole list of my items and let's grab that Liverpool and move it to the first place. And here it is. Indeed, it did work. So I just move around my items as I wish. So this will be all for this video, guys. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe as I post new content weekly so you can always expect new tutorials from me. I wish to thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.